Welcome! In this video I'm going to be taking a look at this Wavelink USB4 PCIe NVMe SSD enclosure. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description, and if you use that link it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So it says aluminum and tool free design, plug and play convenience, compact and portable. On the back it lists everything in the box and the features, you can pause and read through that. So transmission speeds on this is up to 40 gigabits per second. It's compatible with Thunderbolt 4, 3, USB 4, 3, and 2. Max sequential read and write is 3800 megabytes per second, and it's compatible with a number of different NVMe sizes. This is going to be compatible with Windows, Mac, and Linux. It's only compatible with M key connectors. So let's get this open. We have a little note on here saying the surface can get warm. It says, please insert the device into silicone case to avoid contact with high temperature surface of the device. Here we have the enclosure, pull this up. And here we have the silicon case. We have the USB-C cable, and that's about nine and three quarters inches. Pull this out. So we have a thermal pad, and we have a little rubber piece to hold the SSD in, and we have the instructions. Let's take a quick look at this. We have what's in the box and the features. This shows the enclosure. To open the lid, we're going to slide it. it wants us to put silicon pads on both sides of the SSD. We'll secure it with the little rubber tab. This talks about formatting it in Windows and Mac. It does come with a pouch with two pockets in it, so this looks to be made for travel use. So let's open it up, and this does not come with an SSD. You need to put one in. So slide it open. And this is where the SSD will be mounted, so I'll get one of these rubber plugs and the thermal pads. I'm going to be testing this with a Crucial P5 Plus 1TB SSD. So there's going to be a slick plastic on both sides of these pads. I'll peel that off. And I'll put this on here. I want to make sure I don't get it on the contacts. I think that'll be good right about there. I'll peel the back side off. To install this, I'm going to have the label up and I'll press it in here. I'll make sure it's seated properly. I'll take this rubber piece and I'm going to stick it in the little notch in the end and I'll line it up with the hole here and I'll press it down. So now that's secured in place. Now I'm going to put the thermal pad on top. I'll do the same procedure as I did for the bottom. I have the pad on, I'll put the lid back on. So we have the little arrow here. We'll go on the same side as the wavelength. Press it in like that. Now we can put this cover on. So that looks like it will go on like this. And now we're all ready to go. So to connect this up to a computer, we'll plug into the USB here and we'll plug this into the USB of the computer. So let's head over to the computer and we'll test this out. Okay, so here we're at my Mac Studio with M2 processor. I'll open up Disk Utility. Now you can do a similar thing on Windows, but we have the drive here. Now if you're formatting the drive, you want to make sure you have the correct drive. So I'm going to go up to Erase. I'll call this Wavelink. Now for format, I'm going to choose APFS because I'm on a Mac. If I was on Windows, I might choose NTFS. I'll hit Erase. We're done. I'll close this. Let's open up Blackmagic Speed Test. I'll choose the drive. I'll start the test. So here we're getting just under 3,000 megabytes per second read and 3,000 megabytes per second write. And this will vary depending on your drive. But this is very fast. So let's stop the test. Let's do a file copy. So in the top window here, I have the document folder and it's just under 80 gigabytes. Let's drag that over. Okay, so I sped that up, but I put the actual time it took up on the screen. So that was very fast. That was hundreds of thousands of files. Now copying bigger files is going to typically be faster than copying a bunch of small files, even if the total amount is the same. But that was very fast. So that was the Wavelength USB 4 PCIe NVMe SSD enclosure. I found this enclosure very easy to use. You don't need any tools to put the SSD in it. If you can put a sticker on something, you can apply the thermal pads. Just make sure you have it lined up, put the little plug in, put the cover back on, and you're good to go. I really like the performance of this. This is going to be as fast or faster than some internal SSDs, depending on your model. An enclosure like this would be great for backup. So you can plug this into your computer, like your MacBook or your Surface, and back up to it, and you can back up very quickly. So if you're on the go, you can plug this in, you can back it up, then take this off and store it in your bag. Of course, this would also be good for storing large files. You could store small files too, but large files, it's going to be really nice because you can transfer them quickly. So if you're editing video, you can put your video right on this and edit directly from the drive. So I use that Crucial SSD, but this should be compatible with pretty much all NVMe SSDs with the M key connector. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.